Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Spelunky. We are going to have another stab today at completing our illustrious quest to kill King Yama, the final boss in Spelunky. We haven't had a great deal of success on our mission thus far, and if we continue to play in such a manner, we shall have even less success. That bat really doesn't know what to do. Oh, there's so much badness around at the start of this level, that's not good at all. Anyways, let us continue onwards. I have stuff to talk to you about. As you can hear, my voice is still a little bit raspy, a little bit... Ooh, oh dear, you know what I mean? It doesn't sound like it normally does. And that's because the last time I recorded, I had just come off of an illness. And this time, I've still been ill. I, <laughs> I've been having this really kind of naff cough recently, which isn't really any good for this sort of thing. That explains partly why why uh, why my upload schedule has been so erratic these past uh, past couple of days. Um, you know, I just haven't been up to it really. I haven't been able to string wow many sentences together without coughing. In <laughs> Excuse me case in point without coughing in the middle so that's the main issue really but it's okay now everything is all right I'm back to my sultry tones my sleek and soothing voice has returned and we are ready to continue onwards and forwards in our adventure in the spelunky mines we have a shop here selling clothes of the finest wear I would like the spring shoes and the climbing gloves, of course. Jay had an interesting idea. He came in and he was watching me record. Not record, he was watching me play Spelunky once. And um, we uh, we had a go at what I'm going to dub the Bare Necessities one. It's probably the Bare Essentials, actually. is probably a better name for it. But essentially, where you have no equipment apart from the stuff that you start with. And the only things you can buy and use from the power-up crates are ropes and bombs. So, no climbing gloves, no spring shoes, no nothing. All you can have are the ropes and bombs you start with, and then any others you are able to purchase during your journey. And it's quite challenging. You don't realise how much you depend on your bonus equipment until you are stripped of it. Which is often the case, you don't realise what you had until you lost it, you know how the saying goes. And that is definitely true, you do not realise how useful all of this stuff is until you're not able to use it. I mean, well, you, you, can't, you can kind of get an idea, like if you start a run and going, right, I, need, I want the jetpack in this one, and then you don't get the jetpack, that's kind of along those lines, you know, you're kind of there going, oh man, I miss, the, I miss having the jetpack. But this is different because you have no chance of getting a single thing. All you can have is what you have started with, and that is it. Look at these bats, who do they think they is? No chance, not today. So we need to do this safely. That was pretty safe. There's another damsel there. Why have all the damsels got to be locked away in this playthrough? That's not what I need. Smashing. Now, where on to? Those three spiders there look very precarious. There's like a cascade of arachnids. And two of them just didn't know how to survive all that well. If I, were, if I was in their position, I would most definitely be trying to move out of the way as I fell. Yep, I could see that happening, and I'm annoyed that it did happen. <coughs> I kind of knew it would. Pardon me clearing my throat, that's very bad manners. She'll be fine. This caveman here. Probably should not have chucked the Ujit chest down there, because it could have been much more difficult to reclaim under certain situations, but we should be thankful that it was at least easy. What's in here? Some ropes! See, that'd be acceptable. You would have to... Going back to the Ben Necessities uh, run I was talking about, 
you would have to break crates from afar, really. You wouldn't be able to, you know, like, stand on top of them and break them like I normally do. Because if you pick up an item that's banned, then you need to start over. You know, you're only allowed your ropes and your bombs. So if you pick up the climbing gloves because you ran over the power-up crate or accidentally buy something from the shop, game over, son. Game over. It was quite challenging, but it was good fun. We might do a couple of bare essential runs here on the channel one day. Who knows? Oh, here comes the ghost. Let's get out. Just having a little sip of my drink to hopefully keep my voice tidying over. I will just clear my throat though off uh, off camera. Just bear with me one moment. Right, let's continue. So this way we cannot go because of that arrow trap. Ah, oh, surrounded by bats. Who allowed them into these caves? You should be thankful it's only on this level. Be -de -boo. Uh, so I can buy both of these. Let's start with the mystery box. What do we got? <gasps> the machete. Well, I'm not adverse to a bit of murder. Let's deal with that. Get him out. That also gives us his shotgun as well. That is what you need. We needed a little bit of a helping hand. Well, we didn't really, but it's always nice to have a bit of a helping hand in my opinion. I was kind of... Oh! Hoping that would... That didn't go as well as I'd hoped. That wasn't as stylish as I was anticipating. But hey, never mind, you can't always win points for style, and I win points for style all the time. <laughs> yeah, right. Right, let's continue. We've caused enough havoc on this level so far. In fact, no we haven't! Let's kill more things and make more havoc. Havoc is the order of the day here. I hear that song, this song, all the time now. I'm always blowing up shopkeepers and stuff. <laughs> I can't help it, I get greedy and I value the shotgun. So I just go around on a killing spree for the shopkeepers. And also, once you've had a bit of practice at doing it, it's not actually that hard to do well. When it gets hard is when you have to, when you get to the black market, then things get cumbersome. Talking of cumbersome, that's a lot of bats. Get rid of that. Oh, oh. Good. Now, did we miss anything over that way? We probably did, but all them bats there might be cause for alarm. So we're going to have to just take them out one at a time, nicely and slowly. Oop. Good. I mean, that was two at a time there, but... Is there a giant spider up there? There is. Let's get him into the fray, because he'll give us some more gems. Once we kill it. You can't hide from me up there. And, of course, the bomb paste as well is quite useful. Good. Let's get out of here. And the terrible chill is now running up my spine. And it looks like the ghost is coming from the other side as well. That's perfect. Oh, he's going to ghost all of those and turn them all into diamonds. And I haven't got enough bombs to get into the vault. That's a shame. Good. Just quick shot there to make sure I had picked up the shotgun. There's nothing worse than having your shotgun and then not picking it up properly in front of the exit and you just leave it there in at the end of the level. Oop. Nothing more that way. We won't worry about that then. Oh, my eye is blinking. That only means one thing. That means that the black market is close at hand. Whoa. Let's get out of here. It's blinking a bit more ferociously now. Ferociously is probably the wrong word. Aha. Let's, let's rescue this pretty lady. Things keep jumping on those spikes there. And that's very, very poor lifestyle choice. But who am I to criticise such a thing? So let's do this the easy way. Let's chuck the damsel into the worm. Because then that gets her to the exit nice and... Oof! Easily. Good, good, good. Ah, so it's in there. I'm not going to get through there with one bomb, though. I don't think. There it is. Right. Right. <clears throat> 
So I need to be able to find myself another bomb. Otherwise, this is the end. No, that's not what I needed. Or maybe an exploding toad would be good, but I don't think I'm going to get one all the way back here. Oof. So if we can't get a bomb, we can't get to the black market, which means there's no point carrying on with the run because we need to get there so that we can resurrect ourselves, so that we can get to King Yama eventually. But see, look at that. That's nice and easy now. The shopkeepers at the end don't even bother me so much. But, uh, that's it. I can't do no more. And this one has only been 10 minutes long. That's a pain. But, I can't do anything else. What more can I do? Well, I guess we'll just try and keep playing till the end. Oh, pardon my phone buzzing there. Ah! <laughs> Oof, that was a bad start to the level. Oh, the frog down there is billowing out more frogs. Man trap there. Whoops. He's gonna be annoyed. Because the ones in the vaults are always annoyed. So as soon as they see you, they're on to you. Now it's a surefire way to get the shopkeepers angry. Tunneling into their diamond vault. Well, their gem vault. Whoops! That becomes a diamond vault eventually. That'll do. And we'll just keep shooting until we're happy that he's dead. And I am happy that he is dead. Lovely. Still not got any bombs though, which means I'm still not going to be able to do anything. And I can't even get to the black market to buy me some more. So we're in a real pickle. Can't get through to the damsel there to rescue her. Not good. This is it. Oh, and it's a dark level as well. That's the end of this run. Not a fan of the dark levels as you well know by now. Oh, monkey! Right, can't do anything there. Let's just carry on. Oops, don't want to climb up there. Drop my torch. Get the shotgun. Shotgun is still useful. Whoa, easy, froggy. Easy. Whoa! Get out of here! <laughs> oh, I hate dark levels. Let's just get out. Don't want to be fussing around in here too long. Oh, there is a beetle there, though. And another one there. That I may be able to get. Oh, oh well, I would if he stay still. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> now there's going to be a shopkeeper somewhere. Not yet. Oh, there he is. Oh, well, bye bye. <laughs> there we go. So, a relatively short episode today, I'm afraid, partly because that run went really badly, but also because I need to go out to work in a moment, so I need to head off. But we'll be back, we'll have another go soon. I would like to thank you very much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed the video, as short as it has been. If you have, do feel free to leave a like and a comment and let me know what you thought down below, and of course hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already as well. I will see you next time, take care, have a good day, I love you, bye!